Hi, we're Jordana and Grant from Shot in the Dark Travel. Come join us on our epic adventures around Southeast Asia. So we have just arrived at Vinh Wonders in Phu Quoc, Vietnam, and we're super excited to be here. It looks incredible. We've literally just got here, and even just from the entranceway, you can tell it's gonna be something special. We've got the massive castle at the back. It's like being at Disney. It's mad. Like it looks on a par with Disney or Universal or you know like real top tier theme parks. I can't wait to get inside and get on some of these rides. And it's quite early. There's not a lot of people around, so it's really good. I don't think we're gonna have many queues or anything, but yeah, we're gonna take you around the theme park and see what it's like going to a theme park in Vietnam. We've just been on the Music Express ride, which was surprisingly fun. I thought it was gonna be a little kiddies ride. <laughs> But it just spins around faster and faster, and as it got faster, all that was happening was I was getting more and more squashed. So Jordan was getting pushed to the edge. I was getting crushed against the barrier, and all the hair was just whipping me in the face. At one point, I couldn't really see because there was just hair everywhere. I was like, this is a bit ridiculous. He kept on saying to me, he's like, no, no, I'm really squashed, Jordan. And I'm like, I physically cannot move. I don't know what you want me to do. And then I just couldn't stop laughing because it was just so funny. But yeah, I loved that ride. A really good, like, um, first ride to go on. Really, really liked that one. We are about to go on the Dragon Spell ride, which is in this absolutely ridiculously oversized, like, ornate castle. I think it's a kiddies ride. We're not really sure because we don't speak Vietnamese and all the signs are Vietnamese, but going on the, you can ride it if you're one meet at all, I'm assuming that means it's going to be not very scary. We'll see. So um, that ride was really fun. I absolutely smashed it. I don't know if you can see on the board, Jordana lost to what looks like it could be a three-year-old boy. <laughs> so me first, three-year-old boy, and then Jordana third. There wasn't really a huge amount of skill involved. I was just shooting as fast as humanly possible. That was really fun, though. I liked that. What yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah, it was really fun. At first, I thought it was going to be a really scary, like, ghost train, but then it ended up just being, like, a shooting game, which I enjoyed. Yeah, it was very similar to Night of the Museum at Universal, I thought. But yeah, liked it. no one here like we keep on bumping into a few people but it's just deserted like i don't understand why people aren't coming here it is amazing and it's been quite fortunate for us because we've just been going straight on to ride so this is the time to come now when it's pretty dead before it gets big because this place is going to blow up yeah don't want to jinx it yet but we haven't had to queue for a single ride we're just straight on not even a single time we've had to go behind anyone so Absolutely perfect, it's just what you want. Are you ready for this? I don't know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Be scared. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> this ride has really done a number on me. I am absolutely drenched, but it's so hot outside that I don't even care. This is really nice, nice and refreshing. So we've just been to the aquarium, which is in this massive turtle, as you can see behind me. And oh my God, it, I would say it was one of the best aquariums I've ever been to. It was so magical. And I even dragged Grant to the mermaid show and it was amazing. And Grant actually enjoyed it. He was like, ooh, ah. And I was like, really enjoying this, aren't you, Grant? 
I really didn't want to be at the Mermaid Show. I'd much rather be on the roller coasters, but to be honest, she's right, it was actually really interesting. And the aquarium was great. Yeah, like, I've always wanted to see a mermaid show because I just can't imagine how much it takes to keep going down and coming back up and keep going down. It was so magical. And it was even, even better seeing all the little kids getting so, so excited. Every time a mermaid would come down, they'd all be screaming and they were so excited. It was really, really amazing. I think if you've got kids, you definitely have to take them here and see the mermaid show because they are going to love it. And even better than the mermaid show, in my opinion, was the sharks, the penguins that were super cute, the manta rays, all the tropical fish. Like just, there was so much to see and do. I felt like we rushed around it because we're desperate to get back on the rides, aren't we? Yeah, but yeah, this is a definite must do if you come here because it was amazing. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. <laughs> Did <I know? laughs> I'm not sure if we're in like a weird escape room or if we should just be trying the doors and opening the open one. <laughs> it's a bit confusing. <laughs> Is that? that oh, that's back to where we started. Oh. That makes sense. That's why there was loads of doors. <laughs> Do you want to try the cake, it says? Does that mean we get to eat the cake? It's not even real cake, look. Please do not touch. No, you're right. <laughs> Jordana, what did you think of that one? It was strange. It was very confusing, wasn't it? <laughs> I didn't really understand it. It was fun, but I didn't really understand why it was fun. <laughs> there was a bit of a funny miscommunication there because the guys here don't really speak amazing English. I thought that I was missing out on a really good ride. He said it's like a flying ride and he said you have to be under 90 kilos and I don't know my weight in kilos. So I was trying to Google translate from like, convert from kilos to pounds and then he like he was like you're definitely too heavy for it but he was being polite and I was trying to argue that I was definitely under it and then he was like it's a kid's ride <laughs> and I was like ah fine I'll leave that and I thought it was a good one and I was missing out <laughs> They really have gone all out on the theme, and that's one thing I really, really like about this park. Like, there was the Viking section, there was the fantasy section that was like the cartoony bits. We're in like the Egypt section now. Like, it is all just really, really well done. Like, they've put a lot of effort into making it all look fantastic. It's very hot on my bottom. <laughs> Jordana's cacking herself already. <laughs> we are actually going really fast to be fair. This was faster than I expected. Jordana, what did you think of that one? I loved that, that was so cool. You could see the whole park, it was really fast. It was really, really good. I really liked that one. What are you thinking now? I'm a bit hungry. Yeah, you get some food? I want some food. So we are starving. So we've just come here to Pizza Wood for our lunch. We just wanted something super fast, give us some energy to carry on walking around the park. Really super excited to tuck into this pizza. Mm. 
Mm. Is he good? That is going to do the job, definitely. The pizza were pretty cheap as well, so it's 360,000 dong for a large pizza, which we got. But with your entry ticket to the park, you get 150,000 off food. So we both got 150,000 off. So this whole pizza here just cost us 60,000 dong, which is ridiculously cheap. So. Cheapest chips or even cheapest pizza. Jordana, how are you feeling about this one? It looks quite big. It's very, very, very big. That's, that's how I feel about it. So I've just been on this one here. It was really good. Unfortunately, Jordana has chickened out, so I had to do it by myself, but we're hoping She's going to get a bit of bravery from somewhere and she's going to be able to do some of the bigger rides. Fingers crossed. Jordan has decided to go for one of the scarier rides, so let's see how we get on. I don't know if I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, we're a bit... Oh! <laughs> How did you find it? Oh. That was good, wasn't it? Oh, God! <laughs> uh, oh, God. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, my tummy's going on. Oh, my God. 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 No, stop! We've just been on this ride here where you basically go up and then you stop and then you come back down on yourself and it was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, we went on it twice. We really liked that, so we were like, shall we just stay on and go again? And the guy was like looking around and there was no one around, so he was like, yeah, go on then. So yeah, it was really cool. I definitely recommend that one, especially if you're not like big on roller coasters, that's a really good start roller coaster. Um, but yeah, I really liked that, it was really fun. Yeah, there's been quite a few of them, haven't there, where it's like they're not there's no absolutely ridiculous the big roller coaster, but there's quite a lot of just like decent thrill rides, I'd say. There is one really big one that Grant's gonna go on, but I'm not going to go on it. I think there's two really big ones. There's an outdoor roller coaster and an inside dark roller coaster. And Jordana said from the outset, she's yeah. completely chickening out of both. So I'll be having to do those by myself, unfortunately. But I don't care, I really enjoy it. so good you've got to come on this one that is an incredible roller coaster so i've just been on the eagle warrior ride which is the dark indoor roller coaster and it was really fun it was really fast it was of like trippy like flashing lights everywhere it looked so cool and it was really fun it wasn't quite as scary as the as the wrath of zeus which was the outdoor coaster but it was still really really good jordana missed out yeah i didn't fancy it <laughs> We're just about to end our day at Vin Wonders and we've had such an amazing time. We just wanted to tell you a few little things, a few tips and things just to help you out if you plan on coming here, which you definitely should. Um, 
first things first is that it's so quiet in 2023. Like, you're gonna really, really enjoy it because you're just not gonna have to queue. We've not had to queue for any rides whatsoever. Yeah. Every single ride we've gone on, we've just got straight on. We've never, ever had to go in a queue. It is, I've never seen this in the theme park. It's even the best rides, straight on. If you wanna go on again, straight back on again. It is so good. I mean, as you can see, like, um, behind us, like, there's lots of people walking past us now, so it has got a little bit busier, but, um, so if you want to come in the morning, like, that is going to be when it's the quietest at nine o'clock. But even now, like, you're still just walking straight onto rides. You are not, like, queuing at all. So, and I, I don't think you need a full day. I would come in the morning or come in the afternoon and do half a day. So you're not missing out of anything else in Bucock. You can definitely do this. And there's also um, a water, a water slide park, a water slide water park, a water Back that has water slides <laughs> um, and that looks really cool but I'm not really a water slide kind of person granted I'd have definitely done it there's loads of really big slides it looks really good so I'd have 100 percent been up for it but Jordana didn't so I was like fine we, we won but if you like water parks definitely yeah. bring your swim shorts bikini get in there as well you'll easily have enough time to do both in one day and it's a, probably a good way to cool off because it is very it hot is very warm. yeah but yeah, we've, we've really enjoyed our time here and like it wasn't expensive. The water park is included in the main park as well. The ticket cost 950,000 dong per person and that included 150,000 that you got food. So really it's 800,000 for your ticket effectively. And I'd say it's great for adults, it's great for families. There's loads of family friendly rides and there's loads of adult like thrill rides as well. So I say it's great for anyone. The music's getting gradually louder, so I'm starting <laughs> yeah. to shout a little bit. Um, but I've honestly had the best time. It's exceeded expectations. I would say we've recently been to Singapore and been to the Singapore Universal Studios. And I would say this is about on a par with that, which for me is very high praise. Like I think this was a great theme park. And yeah, absolutely loved it. Definitely, definitely recommend you guys to come here. It's gonna get better, I think, every year. It's got so much potential. They're already doing lots of building around. So I think it is just gonna get better and better. And I think this is just like a kind of a, a snippet, really, of what's to come for um, Vin Wonders. Like, it's just amazing. So yeah, guys, if you've liked this video, please like and subscribe. And if you wanna see what else that we get up to in Fukok, make sure you check out our latest videos.